Welcome to Let's Play Doom Fifi War, Attempt 6. So let's set the skill to Ultraviolence and warp there. E1M8. Now this was actually a very difficult level back in the day. And we start off with a demon chasing down our throats. But luckily, there's unaligned ammo. So let's pick up our goodies. You figure putting sprites on a line. This will let me get the drop on everybody. But looking this way would actually make the shotgun shells and most of the boxes of rockets disappear in the original engine. Look at all these guys. The first few shots are hard because you want to clear that line off so that you can poke your head around the corner. And then target down these barons of health. Health and ammo, well not really ammo management, but health management is pretty key, at least for the first one. And for most of the last one. You can stick your head out like right here and be just fine. Just don't shoot a rocket. Remember that delay, like a click and then that. That small little delay between shooting a rocket and it actually shooting. The BFG is noticeably more. But you don't want to shoot a rocket and then strafe and have your rocket hit the corner. Like I did. Yeah. For hit killing these guys, you can shoot a rocket right there and do damage. But since I can actually look down in this game engine, I will. Don't be too greedy. Otherwise you take random fireballs like that. The big threats are the shotgunners really, because they can chip your life down. And that's no good. Looks like a row of rockets. Careful when going to the edge, you can fall off. Not that it's any problem, but it can like disrupt your aim. Four, five, six, and one more. It only takes six rockets, but this is actually an elevator. Shoot a rocket there, there, and there. But first, let's hit up this area. I'll use the chain gun, because there's lots of demons behind this door. Ammo isn't a problem, so I won't get that berserk pack. I'll save it if I need to heal it. In one of my runs, I actually needed it. But you need this to hit that switch for a little bit later. But for now, let's explore. These are elevators, and there's a door on top. With even more rockets. This one leads out the second. But to grab this health of the Soul Sphere... Ah, uh, crap, just didn't grab it. You actually need to strafe run along here. I usually don't grab it the first time. I usually have to try again. I think it's uh it only warps you once or something. More cell packs. You can go down there and there's an extra teleporter in case you get stuck. But this teleports us to the other side. More rockets and an invulnerability. And that's the other side. Careful not to get trapped in there, because once that door closes, you can't open it except from the outside for some reason. It's weird like that. And 
the starter door is the yellow key. So let's go grab the yellow key. This is actually a teleporter. I actually, it actually stumped me for a little bit. That switch lowers the elevator. And imps are on the platforms so we need to actually hop on. Remember, ammo is actually really, really cheap in this level, so feel free to just pull down the curtain. I absolutely hate platforming in Doom. It just kind of feels out of place, really. Lack of jump button. And here's another bug. If the platform isn't wide enough for the monsters to move around on, they will not shoot. They will still melee you, and like this, they will launch a fire. If you shoot them, or otherwise harm them, they will f move around them. I'm not sure if this bug is in Skulltag or not. But it may affect some custom wads that pen the monsters in like a cage or something. I hate platforming. There is no way to get back up here, so be very, very careful with uh, your movement. Or save a bunch like I do. Oh, yes. See, I'll show you. You can open up the doors, but there is no way back up. So once you're down there, you die. And that's no good. Now then, we can actually jump down here. If you don't have the yellow key yet, you can take this teleporter, but it sends you back to the start of the level. This teleporter, on the other hand, will get you all sorts of goodies. Grab this partial and head in this door. You can, in fact, just walk out of the room. But let's actually activate it. The teleporter here will spawn five kinds of guys. There's demons, specters, pistol dudes, and shotgun dudes. You can't walk through the walls to actually see the teleporters. So how didn't that Baron get activated? He will not shoot me in the back again, Baron. Yeah, there is, in fact, an invulnerability and a BFG. So let's actually get to it. Now that we have the yellow key, we can go through this door. Now, knowing this bad level placement stuff, there's probably imps right around the corner. Shoot a rock at this. This is the middle part, where health and ammo and armor really don't matter. And we get a nice shiny BFG with it. Let's get some kills taken care of. Berserk pack in case you need it. Forced to grab that, really. Oh, I didn't get a quarter of pill this time. The red key is needed for here. Get some more ammo, of course. Pin chainsaw. I think you can actually pick some of that stuff up. But there's a secret right here, so let's hit And now we get ourselves a plasma. This door is one way, so be careful. So you can't open it from the side. War. The ceiling effect looks terrible, but the floor looks really cool.
careful as to not shoot rockets in yourself. Like that. Rockets to clear the room out as quickly as possible. Stand away is back so you don't blow yourself off. Maybe uh. yes. That wall isn't, only this one is. Now we grab some more ammo. Hello. Well, oh, there goes most of my armor. I'll grab another one. I should probably go through the war door. So I'll grab an invulnerability. The key thing here is to eliminate as much as you can quickly. But there's something else we can do. is to get that Cyber Demon and the Spider Mastermind fighting. Get all the platforms activated. You can chill in here for a little bit if you want. There's more ammo. Just watch your health and watch to make sure you don't get trapped. Ow, oh, and that still didn't kill him. Nope, there's still demons on the other side. How am I on BFG? I'm got five shots. Let's go grab some more ammo though. So that's why I save all these in water. Now to finish this level up, you just go through all of these weird textured blinking rooms. Each of those four random textures will raise the stairs. To freedom. Unfortunately, because it ends on the last level, you don't get to see the stat screen. Let's make sure the skill is still three and map to E2M9. This looks hauntingly familiar. Why, yes, it's the same level. area map. Huh, that's different. The star rod is still there, but the level is completely different. I don't believe the switch was here to lower this. I could be wrong, though. Ah, the glow is still here. I don't think I'll take killing. Ammo does suck for the first part of it. Ah, there's a glow back there, but we can't get back there yet. So moving on. Not having a rock launcher really sucks you as well. Ah, Baron Pond Dance.
Last time I was here, I got the Baron's Titan over there, and they helped me kill down this guy. Like so, except for a little bit more form. Luckily, you can pick up two maps in this game. You don't even need to kill the Baron, that's kind of sad. I will. Now, there's an invulnerability here for some reason. That wasn't there with the original. So, let's GTFO. We will need that invulnerability too. Last just long enough for you to kill everything. Now, normally, this would take your health down to about 10%, and then it would end the level before you die. But, it doesn't here. And you can actually, in the original Doom, ID Behold, and then push V for invulnerability, and survive in there. The level will still eat through ID DQD, though. Huh. Ooh, that's fine. I'm gonna save that soul sphere. I'll grab some rockets. Flip the switch. You wanna just get in and get as many rockets as you can. Then way really you're going to have enough ammo. Remember, it becomes really difficult to see. That went so much smoother this time. Once you're done, oh, that was a fail. Come on, let's do this right. Pick up the invulnerability. Grab some bullets. In fact, refill your ammo. Grab some berserk if you need it. Unfortunately, still no rockets. Try to stand to where the imps fireballs will let your DPS down. The While you're in vulnerable moments. Don't try to be too greedy as there's no Wilder's Berserk packs. Just watch your health. Shame there's no backpacks on this level. Could fit one in where there's a soul sphere. More health. I thought I killed all that cat. I will flip this switch. More ammo. 
now then, we should be able to get to that spot that we didn't reveal. Let's hop to it. Forbearance. And some rockets. And none of the barons can hit me. That's bad level design. So are those textures. Where the wall splits open. Yeah, that needs better alignment. More bullets for you. And you're even so nice as to open the door for me. We'll pick up the yellow key. And then we'll head down here. Exit, huh? Ooh, I'm worried. Oh, wow. Making sure you die is part of their game. So let's head to the next level. Map E3M7. This level has a whole crap ton of doors, except for their wall textures. I don't know why there's sky. Can we get the Cyber Demon fight the Spider Mastermind? And that's the end of the level! It wasn't that bad of a custom level set. The first level I really enjoyed, although they could put a few more health items to help on lower difficulty levels. I would still like to see, you know, uh, a bit of touching up, some texture alignment. Episode The, the first level, I guess it's called episode one, you know, the first level was actually really decent. It was quite challenging and uh, Yeah, just some more health placement and some fixing up, really. The second level, well, it's just a complete remix of uh, E1M9. It's the star rod and everything. Although I would like to see an ammo backpack and probably some more bullets at, to help you against like the, the cocker demons and everything else. The third level, put the exit someplace else. I mean, it's good for speed running it, but not so good for... You know, the general theme, which is health management, lots of guys, a big war. While the third level had a nice big war, you can sidestep it as I as I showed you, basically. So yeah, that was Fifi War. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.